Good morning, folks. We've got some amazing papers to hit today. We've got an update on Earth's rotation glitches, and we're starting with the solar watch items over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on our star was pretty peaceful. Earth-facing quiet knocked out one of the baby northern sunspot groups, coronal hold departing on the south, and its solar wind is beginning to arrive. Minor perturbations only thus far, but could intensify throughout the day. Still, minor effects expected. The large snake-like plasma filament coming over the northeastern limb cannot stay stable for long. It's too big. Expect eruption or collapse in the coming days as it is crossing the Earth-facing disk. For the first science story today, let's head to Venus where that trace phosphine is now linked to explosive volcanic eruptions, not potential biosignatures. Now its new appearance suggests the first hint of geological upheaval beginning on Venus in the solar system shift. The volcanoes were long thought to be dormant there, and perhaps they were. Veteran observers, log that one in the potential solar system shifts with the other planets. Up next, it's the discovery of a remarkable pitch angle in the nearby Sagittarius arm of the galaxy. I have long wondered if the current sheet ripples were molding the spiral arms, and this could be an excellent example of how that's playing out. Less speculation and more expansion of a paradigm here, more gap filling between classes of nova. The more they look, the more new things they find that are not so easily classified. In that exact same vein, this one is exciting astronomers as much as the no ejection nova and other exotic examples. An unprecedented light curve plateau, more than eight magnitudes lower in brightness than the flaring peak of the nova event. That's not supposed to be possible. And neither was this. Folks, the tiny nova events intrigue us the most. This example of a flash and micro-nova scale centrifugal mass loss breakout from the equatorial region is precisely what you'd imagine the verbal description of the government's solar nova simulation would be. This is not a normal flare in CME, which have directed blasts of plasma. This is a whole star centrifugal breakout micro-nova, the one they show flipping Earth's field when it hits. And yes, their energy ranges for this event match exactly what we have predicted for the solar micronova, perhaps even slightly less. Veteran observers who have seen us use this examination, those who have seen our video on You Don't Know Nova, or have read our book on the disaster cycle, this one fits in so perfectly, it's hard to accurately describe in human words, but we try. Anyway, just a few days ago, we saw the latest update on Earth's rotation glitches. Length of a day averaging 0.17 milliseconds fast this year with our just having seen the fastest rotation day, July 9th, at about 1.4 milliseconds fast. Well, it's been updated. We are ticking just a bit faster, and we've got a new expected fastest rotation day. And it's psychotically faster than any other day in the official record. Over 2 milliseconds fast, which is also greater magnitude than any slow day was slow never had one two milliseconds slow. Folks, this shift continues, and if you're new here, you need to spend the couple hours watching the disaster series. This isn't going to skip you just because you don't know about it. We greatly appreciate your support. The disaster series is linked right below the video in the description box, and it's also on our channel homepage. You just click the name Suspicious Observers to get there. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.